Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd. I have a love of Star Wars, I really enjoy energy drinks, and I'm passionate about 3D printing. How can I combine all of them together into a special project that'll be both beneficial to my daily life and something I can show off to my friends and release to the world for free? <laughs> I'll tell you in just a sec. You ready? Go. So you know why I, I like Star Wars? I love Star Wars. Star Wars is great. Episode 7 is coming out next week. And and I I just I love printing things that are Star Wars related. So I, I think I've shown you this before. This is the Millennium Falcon. Duh. And it was printed using protopasta's carbon fiber filament. The detail, the detail was amazing. And I was I was extremely impressed with how this, this filament printed. So I thought. What else from the Star Wars universe is a, is kind of a matte black color? What else? What else? It's Darth Vader, of course. This Darth Vader is known as the low poly Darth Vader found on Thingiverse. Uh, a link is in the, the description to the model. And it prints phenomenally well. You don't have to use supports at all. And I showed this off in a previous video. I haven't glued the head into place yet. And the other one of these is already earmarked for Chris Perillo, who is a Vader fan, to say the least, but this the, the protopasta carbon fiber filament is a wonderful filament, and it really produces a great result for, for printing a Darth Vader. And then I had an idea. The low poly Darth Vader prints in parts. You've got the body, you've got the peg between the body and the head, and you have the head itself. So why not take the head model and print it bigger? <laughs> Look at that. Here it is. This is the Darth Vader head from the low poly model, and it's bigger. Again, it's printed in protopasta carbon fiber filament. Um, the top is a little, a little not so perfect because I don't have a filament fan on my FlashForge Creator Pro yet, but the detail on this model is phenomenal. And if you if you look at this side right here, you can it's it's really hard to tell where one layer starts and the next layer begins. It's very smooth and finished and it prints it prints like a dream. So here's my conundrum. I have, I have this Red Bull, and I prefer the sugar-free Red Bull just because I like the taste, and I want to drink this, but I want, I want something special to hold this Red Bull. And I have this Darth Vader, and it's, it's sized appropriate, and I, I could get a big Forstner drill bit and drill down into this plastic and completely destroy it, but then I could hold my, hold my Red Bull in here. So... That gave me an idea. So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to take this low poly Darth Vader head and we're going to bring it into an application called Tinkercad. Tinkercad is a free online web-based model building program. And you can design all sorts of 3D objects in it. You can also modify 3D objects. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna import it in, and then I'm going to make a hole in it about the size of my Red Bull can, and then I'm gonna print it. I'm going to design and 3D print a protopasta carbon fiber Darth Vader Red Bull koozie. First things first, we have to take our Red Bull can and our caliper and figure out the dimensions we need to measure from. So if I, if I take the Red Bull can and I measure along the diameter and I get a general feel as to how big things are, it, it goes from 52, the high 52s to to a little over, a little over 53 here at the base, just a little bit, just a little bit. So I'm going to size it up slightly and I'm gonna call the diameter 53.5 millimeters. If the Red Bull can is 53.5 millimeters in diameter, that's the size of our hole. We're going to need some sort of border around the top and a, a sleeve essentially that fits into the Darth Vader itself within the 3D model. So I'm going to add two millimeters to that number, and I'm going to use 55.5 millimeters for the, the sleeve that will fit into the Darth Vader. The last thing we need to do is figure out how far into the Darth Vader model this Red Bull can needs to sit. I've got the caliper set at 50 millimeters, and that looks like, that looks like it's just about right. That looks like it's just about right, so it'll set that far into the Darth Vader. All right, we have our measurements. Let's take it to Tinkercad. 
All right, here we go. We're in Tinkercad. If my voice sounds a little bit different, it's because I'm using a headset to record this, but it's still me, the 3D printing nerd. I'm going to use Tinkercad to import my low poly Darth Vader head, and I'm going to size it at 400% because it's usually quite small. I'm going to hold down my right mouse button, and here's how I can rotate, rotate the view. And there is my Darth Vader. Looks pretty good. First things first, there's the hole where the peg goes in, and we need to cover that up. So let's bring over a cylinder, let's kind of size it about right, and then let's use this to just bring it up. I can select both and group, and that combines them together, and you'll notice there's no more hole, and the Vader is a solid object again. All right, now, Let's see, we said we wanted it to be, I think it was, we were going to say 50, 55.5. So what I can do is drop this ruler on and I can say 55.5 on this axis. I can say 55.5 on this axis. And then for the height, I believe we said it was going to be 50. One of the nice things about Tinkercad is it allows you to line things up fairly easily. So here it is. It's pretty close, but it's nowhere near perfect. I'm going to go up here, adjust a line. I click this and it's going to center it on this axis. I'm going to click this and it's going to center it on that axis. Then I'm going to click up here in the top and that means it's going to use the top plane to center everything. That looks like about what we want. Both are selected so I can hit group and now it becomes a solid object again with that cylinder we just put in there. All right. Now we need another cylinder. And I think we measured the can and said we were going to do 55.3, or I'm sorry, 53.5, 53.5 millimeters. And I think, uh, let's see, we said it was going to be, we wanted it to be 50 high. So the difference here is this is a, a solid cube. If I click this, this is going to create a hole. So we can bring the hole close. We select both and I go back into my alignment. I'm going to click here to center it on this axis. Oops. There we go. I'm going to do that again. There we go. So it's centered there. I'm going to center it here. And then just like before, I'm going to use the top plane to adjust it there. It looks good. I'm going to say group. Not too bad. There's the bottom of the hole. So now we have a Darth Vader head. And we have a hole that's Red Bull can sized. That was pretty easy. Let's look up close. Oh, that looks good. That looks really good. All right. Well, looks like it's time to print it. So what we can do is design, download for 3D printing. We choose STL, and it saves it out. I'm going to put it in my Darth Vader one, and I'm going to hit that. And there we go. It's saved out. And now all I have to do is take it to the 3D printer. And you're in luck. I'm going to print it with a time lapse. You ready to see that? Here we go. All right, the printer's done. We've pulled the model from the printer and it looks like that. That's not too bad, look at that. It's got a big hole at the top to put the Red Bull in. Okay, I want this to be a snug fit because I, I want it to be a koozie. I don't want it to be a, a can holder. I want it to fit around the can. I want to have to hold Darth Vader when I drink this Red Bull. Here we go. Ready, ready. Oh, man. Yes, oh, that's a perfect. That's a perfect fit. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. This, ready, ready? Snug. <laughs> yes. All right, here we go. This is a 3D printed Darth Vader Red Bull koozie using Protopasta's carbon fiber filament. Oh, I'm stoked about this. The ultimate test. <sighs> Salute.
that worked. I held up my Darth Vader. Oh, and it worked. Oh, this is phenomenal. Okay, this worked, and I'm pretty excited about it. I will release this model under the Creative Commons license at Thingiverse because this was a, this was a previous model that was licensed similarly. Oh, this is good. Hey, I want you to print this. If you like Red Bull, uh, let's see. This is the 8.4 fluid ounce can. So this is specifically for that size can. But if you like a Red Bull and you like Darth Vader, print this out. I would love to see what you come up with. Oh, man. This is fun. Thanks, Darth Vader. <sighs> All right. Mmm. Life-giving. Now, when you've got Red Bull and you're at a party and everyone else is drinking Red Bull, you'd be like, that's my Red Bull. <laughs> this, this was a fun video. So we, we identified a problem, or at least a need. We took measurements. We designed something within a 3D building application. We then exported it as a 3D printable file. We printed it on our printer and we tested it. The test was successful and we celebrated with a chug of Red Bull. Oh man, thanks for watching you guys. I really hope you like this video. This is, this is the first thing I've really kind of designed in a long time and it felt, it felt good. I've been designing cookie cutters forever. It felt good to get into a, a subject matter that I'm quite fond of. Oh man. Hey, you guys, thanks. Thanks for watching this. I really appreciate it. Let me know if you have any questions or if I can help with, with the application usage. I kind of figured it out a little bit and it, it seemed to work pretty well. Uh, share this video with your friends. If you love Star Wars or if you have a friend that loves Star Wars, just share it with them. That would, that would help me a great deal. Don't forget, if you shop at Amazon.com, I have affiliate links down below. And every time you shop there, I get a small kickback and that really... That really helps the channel out quite a bit. Hey, give me a thumbs up if you like this. Share it with your friends. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I love you guys. As always, high five.